we're going to look at the MPV's wavelock box. We're going to look at the configuration for the photodiodes. More specifically, this photodiode here that monitors the output. Now, we don't take the power from the output directly. Instead, we take a little portion and we give this tap uh, to the photodiode here. And that signal in return is a voltage that goes to an input stage that is similar to an oscilloscope. We're going to look at the settings for that. So let's go into the menu. On the screen, we have a block diagram. And we have labels and uh, controls for the uh, portions of the block diagram. There's a little oscilloscope and also uh, information in the bottom. So here we're in scanning mode. You see the yellow line going up and down. That's the piezo voltage. And here in light blue, we see the photodiode. Uh, now it's pretty taking a small portion of the screen. So we want to increase it. So I go to the menu. And now it takes a larger portion of the screen. Uh, we could have also changed the offset. That would have had the effect of lowering or raising this blue curve. Now we're going to lock. I'm going to go into this control here. I'm going to engage the lock. All right. So now we here. If you see over here, we have about 3.7 watts. If you look over at the power meter, it's 3.4 watts around. So we could adjust for that. I go back to this menu and I change its coefficient. This is something you normally wouldn't have to do. It is already preset at the factory. So I calculate the fraction that I need. And I compute the new value for the coefficient. So I go on the menu. And change it. Now we have around 3.4, 3.5 watts. And over here we have 3.5 watts. Let's see what happens if we made a mistake, if we put too much gain at this input. I raise it to a gain of 8. Look at that. The blue line went to the very top, and we get an alarm. That's because we were in overrange. To clear that, just put a better value for the gain. And now, once again, we're in the middle of the screen, and we have a nice value.